Good morning, Sophie. Good morning. Good morning and welcome to Mornings on Main Street for this Tuesday, the 7th of May. I'm your host, Stephanie Miller. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. I am here at the Trails of Fontanelle in Whites Creek. This happens to be one of my favorites just because it's in close proximity to Clarksville, which is where my husband and I live. And I love that it's not too difficult. It's a 2.5 mile loop here at the Trails of Fontanelle. And honestly, it's just a great place to get out and do a little hiking and just hear the sights and sounds of nature. If you're looking for something a little more, well, we have that for you today coming up thanks to our Tennessee traveler, Tom Atkinson. We are talking about Rock City in just a few minutes. Not only can you see seven states from one spot there at Rock City, but the location offers up a couple other attractions, one of which wraps up at the end of the weekend. This man, Lieutenant Colonel with U.S. Army Explosives Ordnance Disposal, Frank Ross Talbert, faces multiple federal criminal charges, including illegally importing weapons. The arrest was made following an investigation and the issuance of multiple search warrants that uncovered evidence that Talbert unlawfully imported firearm parts from Russia, China, and other countries. Read through the charges and more by visiting MainStreetMediaTN.com and finding Main Street Clarksville. We thrive under the lights. A city of performers. Putting on one heck of a show. Headlining night after night. Welcome to Smashville. Nashville Sounds Baseball is back in Hit City for the 2024 season. Spend your nights and weekends at the ballpark with weekly giveaways, fireworks shows, throwback deals, live music, and more. Top talent will take the field at First Horizon Park against the AAA Minnesota Twins, Baltimore Orioles, Atlanta Braves, St. Louis Cardinals, Cincinnati Reds, and more. Tickets start at just $10 and are available now at NashvilleSounds.com. We will see you in Hit City. The wild horses are coming to Franklin. The Mustang Heritage Spectacular. Four days of celebrity freestyle, liberty training, trick riding, and extreme Mustang makeover. Plus the shopping. Over a hundred vendor spaces with clothing, food, home goods, and things you can't find anywhere else. All that and celebrity signings at a music stage too. June 20th through 23rd at Williamson County Ag Expo Park. Don't miss a moment with a weekend pass. MustangHeritageFoundation.org for tickets. Welcome back to Mornings on Main Street. There is a spot where you can see seven states and you really don't have to go very far. And that's the only introduction I'm going to give this because our Tennessee traveler, Tom Atkinson, has the rest for us today. We're talking about Rock City and Tom, I cannot wait to hear more. There's a lot to tell, and indeed, using the phrase of C7 states tells a whole lot of people in the audience exactly where you're talking about, <laughs> because that is one of Rock City's claims to fame. Right. Well, Ken, did you see seven states? I mean, is there like a little pointer? Or Absolutely. How does that there, there is a spot on a promontory called Lover's Leap uh -huh. that is high up on Lookout Mountain way above the city of Chattanooga. And sure, you can see seven states. Uh, South Carolina looks a whole lot like Kentucky and <laughs> Georgia looks a whole lot like North Carolina. But yes, that panorama supposedly is a seven state span. And it's, it's one of Tennessee's most well-known attractions. 
People have known it for decades because of the famous Sea Rock City barns that mm -hmm. are scattered around the Southeast and the Midwest. They're, they're just famous. Well, and I, I'm sad to say that we haven't been yet. We've driven past it. I can't tell you how many times and every time it's like, oh, we should go, but you really should. And we all need to make a visit now. What are some of the other fun sites, amazing sites that we can see there at Rock City? Timing right now is important for people, especially for people who have been there. It's always been a daytime attraction, but for the spring, Rock City has a program called Flora Luna, which runs through May the 12th, and it's a twilight time. Normally, guests just simply aren't there at twilight time. They have put in some new, subtle, contemplative decorations. There's a, there's a feeling of zen almost as you visit Rock City during this program time. The, um, the Rock City folks commissioned a very good Chattanooga composer to do a 40 minute soundtrack. So as you're walking the, the paths and finding your way around and finding the overlooks, there's some background music that is very subtle and soothing and enjoyable. Uh, you can, there's a new food service available. You can sample some specially made uh, artisan food pieces, uh, get a glass of wine or a craft beer. There's a different feeling at twilight and it's, it's a first time experience uh -huh. and they're going to see how it goes. I have to ask too about the gnomes that you'll find there. Well, the, the originator back in oh. the thirties envisioned a fairy tale, uh, excuse mm -hmm. me, a, a fairyland location and scattered around the property along the trails are, are little bitty gnomes that they don't make a huge deal out of it, but okay. it's just really nice. It, it's a, it's a subtle little thing for the kids. Well, let's talk a little bit about the founder of this area, because again, you're into history. You love knowing how yeah. something gets established or how something comes about. Tell us about the history of this and how well, it is now it's, Rock City. It's, it's been in one city, excuse me, one family's ownership since the 30s. It's a beautiful, natural setting. Lover's Leap, where the C7 st states overlook is, is just absolutely beautiful. You are so high up over Chattanooga and the view is so pretty. And I really do think it's, it's most beautiful at, at, uh, at sunset time. Um, Rock City became one of three especially Specially known attractions on Lookout Mountain. Okay. The other one is the Incline Railway, which takes you from the valley floor in downtown or almost downtown Chattanooga up to the top of Lookout Mountain. Uh, it's just like being on a Swiss cable car, not, <clears throat> excuse me, not a cable car, but a Swiss tram. And the third one is Ruby Falls. You can have a wonderful three part experience by hitting. The Incline Railway, Ruby Falls, and then Flora Luna at Rock City. Plenty to do in Chattanooga. What a great getaway. Does it cost anything to go up there? Do you have to pay like a fee to Those get up Those are all three paid attractions. Okay. They are, they are mainstays of the Tennessee tourism industry. Okay. And um, it's, it's almost like a Tennessee checklist. You have to go at some point. I have to ask, is this in your book of 100 things to do before you die? My 100 things to do in Nashville before you die. Oh, that's right. It doesn't go too far past the city limits. You need to do a Tennessee one, Tom. That's a thought. <laughs> Let's go. No, thank you so much for sharing this with us. All of you guys, get out. Check out Rock City while you can before the floor of Luna, before that goes away, May 12th. But again, still get out there and take a visit. Tom, we appreciate you. And I cannot wait to see what's in store for us next time. We'll have something fun for you. Keep traveling. Yes, sir. Stick with us here at Mornings on Main Street. We'll be right back.
Complete Service Heat and Air is a trusted provider of top-notch heating and cooling solutions dedicated to ensuring optimal comfort and efficiency for residential and commercial spaces. Complete Service Heat and Air is located in White Bluff, Tennessee. We do service and repair on heating and air the right way 24 7 service call us at 615-797-3997. Serving Cheatham, Davidson, Dixon, Hickman, Humphreys, Montgomery, and Williamson counties. Welcome to Grin Doctors, your trusted pediatric dentistry and orthodontics practice. Achieve healthy, beautiful smiles with our expert care. At Grin Doctors, we are committed to your child's oral health and well-being. Trust Grin Doctors, your pediatric dental home for exceptional care. We go above and beyond to ensure the comfort and satisfaction of our young patients. Grin Doctors Kids Dental and Orthodontics is right down the street in Old Hickory TN. Easy to get to and in your neighborhood. Uncle Dave Macon Day's Music Festival is returning under a new name, Roots Rendezvous at Hot Springs, presented by Uncle Dave Macon Day's. Mark your calendars for September 6th and 7th at Hot Springs on John Bragg Highway in Murfreesboro. The Music Festival will remain a partner with the American Mules and Bluegrass Festival in Shelbyville in late September. If you would like to learn who will be on the stage for Roots Rendezvous, just head to our website and click on Murfreesboro Post. The Great American Cleanup Day brought out more than 200 people to help with picking up litter in the Clarksville area. Keep in mind that you can help keep Tennessee beautiful every day. You can recycle. We have our convenience centers that you can recycle, uh, bring your trash. Of course, don't let your litter blow out of your vehicle or throw it out. That's one of the main things for this day is to do the roadside cleanup. So that's very important to keep um, the roads clean, make sure your loads are tarped or secured when you're uh, hauling trash and um, of course the recycling. And here's a look at the fun volunteer appreciation event held recently by Habitat for Humanity of Montgomery County. Executive Director Rob Selko shares how big of a difference volunteers make. Nothing happens here at Habitat without volunteers. There are three full-time people that work in the affiliate have five in the store, uh, but it takes hundreds of people to accomplish what we do in the course of a year. You know, there's homeowner selection, there's homeowner education, um, uh, there's fundraising and development, and that's not getting done with three people. You know, it's volunteers that really make all of that happen, so uh, there is no habitat apart from volunteers, so we just thank them for the privilege of being able to work with them. This is the building community part. It's bringing people together who would not otherwise meet. People who have very different ideas and, and, and passions and, and, and spiritual backgrounds and cultural backgrounds. But they all agree that, you know, we want to make Clarksville a better place to live. And the way we do that is by working together. I too would like to encourage you to volunteer your time where your heart feels compelled to give time. I promise you, you will get so much out of that donation of just time. Let's touch on a couple other trails that you might be interested in that are located here in Tennessee, one of which is in Gatlinburg. So that is the Laurel Fall Trail in Gatlinburg. It is a 2.4 mile out and back trail for you. Gatlinburg being a great place to visit or just spend a couple days, just a little local getaway here in the state of Tennessee. Another one's in Nashville. It is a day loop trail. It is a 3.9 mile trail in Nashville. Again, that is the day loop trail located in Nashville, a great spot that you might want to check out. And then last but certainly not least, because we have so many trails in not only Middle Tennessee, but Tennessee as well. As always, thanks so much for joining us here for Mornings on Main Street. Have a fantastic afternoon. We'll see you back here tomorrow.